take It's supposed to go both ways This broken heart is hardly worth the price you didn't pay today we're finally back on the road again after a few days off of work anyways after a long time off of videoing we're finally back on the road again yeah let's go find out if our load is going to be ready in Winnipeg it's supposed to be uh, going out at 10 so I don't know if it's going to be ready already by the time I get there or not but we'll go find out right but it is another very, very cold morning this morning. Yes, indeed. But anyway, we managed to get our truck started and everything. So uh, our fan is running though. So I haven't been able to shut that off or whatever. But uh, we'll see. Maybe eventually it will shut off. But hey, I hope you guys appreciate me coming back. I took me a little bit of a vacation from videoing. I was getting tired of uh, everything, so I uh, said, you know what, time for a break. Figured uh, I hadn't had really good videos over the last little while anyway, so figured I decided to make me a little break and then uh, we'll start fresh again this year, so. Welcome back if you're still around. <laughs> we'll love to hear from you in the comments. All right, guys, we have just finished picking up our preload trailer here in Winnipeg. Yeah, what is this guy here with lights on there? I'm not sure exactly what he's doing, but. In 200 meters, yeah. turn right on Boulevard, RDE 25. I don't know where RJ wants me to go today again, but. Uh, we're gonna make a left-hand turn, not a right-hand turn, RJ. We're gonna go the opposite way, yeah! Anyways, I hope you guys are having a good day as well. I'm having a pretty good day. Took till Winnipeg till my fan stopped turning again, but hey. I think at the second traffic light or something like that where I stopped at, then all of a sudden, I guess, from the heat, from the engine and everything, the uh, fan all of a sudden stopped turning so uh, so that was awesome now we got to get out of Winnipeg and uh, get towards the border yeah all right well you're not sure which way you want to go first you had the single light on now you changed it <laughs> It is very, very slippery actually in some sections here in Winnipeg. So you gotta be really, really careful so you don't slide away from where meters, you wanna go. Make a U turn if possible. And I don't know where you're trying to take me, RJ, but uh, I know the way and I know this is the way I go out of Winnipeg, so we're gonna go this way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a coca-cola plant right here you see that right here to the right that's the coca-cola i guess plant or warehouse or whatever you want to call it wow that's where they make the coca-cola wow possible. that must be tight getting in there that looks like it anyways so well yeah we got us about a thousand just over a thousand miles to do to our first delivery so uh Let's hammer down. Alrighty guys, we have decided to make us a little pit stop here in Morris. Morris, Manitoba. So we're going to try and get across the road here. And then uh, we're going to go up there to uh, Subway and grab us a bite to eat. Yeah. Beautiful sunshine today though. Yeah, we got Subway right over here. So yeah, let's go grab me a bite to eat. So let's go inside and have us a bite to eat and then... We'll continue on with our journey. Welcome back to the United States of America, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we're back in North Dakota. Where the excitement begins. <laughs> Whatever that means. 
we're just having fun with you guys. Yes, indeed we are. It was an easy border crossing again today, so here we are. Back in North Dakota, and we got beautiful, beautiful sunshine today. As I can tell anyways. I'm sure you guys can see that as well. But don't let that sun fool ya. It is cold out here today. Very cold indeed it is. Oh well, that's the way it goes. We're hammered down now. We got 936 miles to go. Till we get to our first delivery. Yeah. We gotta be there Friday at 7.30 in the morning. So that's uh, early. And then by 11 we gotta be at the second drop in Ohio. So we gotta giddy up and go. We gotta do probably at least five hours worth of driving yet today. In order for us to make it to our delivery on, uh, well, I wanna try and get as close as I can tomorrow. Although I'm not too sure if there's gonna be any parking available in that area, but uh, we're gonna try, right? We're gonna try. Doesn't mean we're gonna find something, but we're gonna try. I might even call them tomorrow and find out if I can possibly maybe even stay at their place, so. Yeah, that might be a good idea to do, right? Maybe I can just go straight to their place tomorrow night and I'll be ready there for them in the morning. Might be a good idea. But yeah, here we go, hammer down. Well guys, we have just turned on to I-94 eastbound and down. Yes, indeed we have. And look at this. Looks like they've gotten a snowstorm here yesterday too. Which I believe they did. Same as us. That's why we can see a little bit of uh, ice there in some spots. But don't get me wrong, the road is not icy at all. Pretty nice dry road it looks like for the most part. But yeah, that sun is still shining very nicely today. And I'm just enjoying my day. Just cruising right on through here. And just giving her today, that's for sure. This is the third week in a row that I've been uh, notified by the company that by the end of this month I need to have my electronic log installed and they sent me another message again today telling me that by the end of the month I gotta have at least an appointment for my training so uh, I guess uh, probably the first week in February I'll probably have my electronic log in here. Which I don't mind. Because I drive legal anyway, so... For me, that ain't going to be an issue. I know some drivers are bitching and complaining about the e-log. And for me, I don't really know what to say to it. Other than, I don't really like the fact that it should be forced on us. I think it should be voluntarily. Or if the company would like to do that, it should be up to them. But not up to the government of the United States, right? That's the way I look at it pretty much. But uh, they're forcing it down our throat. We got to do it this year. So I guess better get it done and have the training before it's due date, right? And then we will know by that time how to work it, right? We'll figure it out. I'm pretty, I, I, I like technology, right? So uh, that's why I made the tech channel that I got on my YouTube. Yeah, I got another YouTube channel called Tech Tips and Tricks. For those of you that don't know, I do have one. Where every once in a while I put a video up. Uh, could be anything from an app that I really like to how to put a video together or how to operate a website although I haven't really done too much on the website uh, things yet but uh, eventually we'll get into it you know 
I'm busy as it is, so I don't have to, a lot of time to work on it all the time, but hey, we try. Every once in a while we get a video in. But anyways, we'll continue on cruising along there. We'll see what else we will be able to show you today. All right, guys, we are done for today. Finito. Yes, indeed, we are. I hope you guys enjoyed my today's vlog. I really enjoyed making it for you guys. And we are now in Clearwater, Minnesota. Yes, indeed, we are. <clears throat> it's supposed to be another cold night out here. But hey, guess what? We got the bunk heater running. We got the APU unit running. All that good stuff. Nothing to worry about, right? As long as it works. <laughs> yeah, that's right. As long as it works, nothing to worry about. <laughs> but hey, we had us a fantastic day. We got exactly 602 miles to go to our delivery place. So we're not going to waste too much time. We figured we finish our vlog today and uh, get on with uh, business as far as putting it together getting ready for you guys to upload yes indeed and if you really enjoyed today's vlog please leave me a big fat thumbs up and if you would do me a favor share this video as well i've noticed over the last while that not many people of you have shared my video so if you guys wouldn't mind helping me out sharing the video that would be very much appreciated i want to say thank you in advance for doing that for me if you did and if you're not one of them well i guess then my video was not good enough for you <laughs> or you didn't like the video or whatever the reason might be you might not have any social media sites who knows right you never know what people do and uh, you might not have a social media site. I know some people that don't. So uh, if you didn't because of that reason, I can't blame you, right? But if you do have them social media sites like Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, Facebook and all that good stuff, Google Plus, then do me a favor, share this video. That will help me out tremendously. Don't let all of your friends and people know about my channel and then in essence they can check it out and see if they like what you uh, what you're watching and if they do they might subscribe to my channel right and that's how we get this word out and if you don't share my video like very few of you guys have done the last at least in the last 28 that i checked in the last 28 days then we're not going to really go anywhere so i mean my channel is not about just growing big 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 right but it is a uh, inspiring when it does grow right so i mean in all reality that's all what we want right all of us we want to grow our channel our community and we want to make it as personal as we can we do not want to copy anybody and i try my darn near best not to copy anybody i try to have my own ideas my own show the way i like it and i guess some of you like it too because otherwise you wouldn't be watching me <laughs> simple as that right but uh, we want to just say thank you guys for watching uh, my channel being there for me supporting me I know some of you have supported me financially over the past I would appreciate that for those of you guys that are new and never knew this there is actually a uh, PayPal option if you like down in the description box if you feel like you want to donate to this channel I really don't ask for anything but if you guys feel like doing that by all means you can do that and that will help me uh, get better equipment like the drone for instance all I know a lot of you guys have really enjoyed that and that's not cheap that's an $850 drone that I have that doesn't come cheap I still got to pay on it I uh, went to Best Buy and I got it on a payment system so that way I can pay for it right and get you guys some extra shots and i know a lot of you guys have really enjoyed it so uh no obligations i'm just letting you know it's there if you like i won't have any hard feelings if you don't donate to me i do this because i enjoy it and i love making videos that's the reason why i do this i don't do it for the money i mean heck youtube don't pay us enough to actually 
make anything off of it. I mean, last month, I made 73 bucks off of YouTube. Big deal. What is it going to get me? Well, not much. <laughs> not these days anymore, especially up here in North America. But uh, South America might get you a few things, but not up here in North America. Things are expensive. <laughs> But anyways, enough of my rattling on and all that stuff. If you are new to our channel, we would love to have you on board by hitting that subscribe button down there below. And if uh, you don't know where it is, wait till the end of the video. It will be on the top right hand corner. Whichever side that is, it could be on this side, could be on that side. The screen is always turned around, right? So right hand would probably be up here, which is my left hand. <laughs> Makes no sense, right? But at the end of the video, we usually have a video on uh, either side of the screen. I don't ever get it right. <laughs> so I point in both directions. So it might be on that side, might be on that side, right? So we do have a video out there. Check that video out if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button, all them good things that make us love our job. So with that being said, we will see you right here tomorrow morning on another show of Trucker Rudy. So have a good one. We'll see you on the next one. Get going, it's time to move on. Put this behind me, that day is gonna come.